Some here are ladies of the Bible. Deborah, the only woman judge and prophet to an oppressed Israel. Ruth, the Cinderella fairy tale finding her one true love and proving dreams really do come true. Priscilla, who is briefly mentioned as a faithful follower of Jesus. But the most notable and frequently preached female protagonist is Esther. After Vashti was exiled for refusing the king, a competition was held and Esther won the crown. When the king was tricked into signing a decree that would destroy the Jews, Esther went through a process of confronting her fears to save her people. Her courage affords her a hero celebration and emphasis the divinity of God's plan. But the sugary sweet tale of romance, empowerment, and an epic battle between fear and trust is nothing short of deceptive. The Sunday school lesson of do not fear and trust in God falls flat. Because through this rose-colored glass, the story of Esther is a lie. Vashti is the most underrated character and is often preached as an unsubmissive wife. She denied a direct request from a husband and has garnered herself a bad reputation. But her husband was less than admirable. On a scale of nerd never leaving his dorm room to frat boy on spring break, the king and his bros were drunk snooky running down the boardwalk screaming, where's the beach? His request to display the queen's beauty was him demanding a very public striptease. He'd rather have the queen act as paid entertainment than offer her the respect she deserves from her position and title. Vashti's denial placed her life in danger, but affirmed herself as a ruling symbol of power, even after she was exiled. The competition is often described as a Miss America pageant. The ladies line up before the king and a panel of judges. A winner is picked. Lots of tears, balloons, confetti, cheers from the audience. Except it wasn't near this glamorous. The ladies were kidnapped in a massive human trafficking ploy and had any ties with their family cut. Can't have grandma demanding her sweet magnolia return to baked pies for the county fair. Sorry grandma, no time for that. These ladies went through a grueling year-long beauty transformation of skincare and makeup tutorials with the sole purpose to prep them to, <clears throat> pleasure the king. When competition time came, each lady had one night to win the crown. How might a virgin win the heart of the king? A midnight song of Solomon Bible study by candlelight? Unfortunately, this competition was Mary Shag Kill on steroids. The king got to play for one night, the girls using all the skills they learned over the past year, and the king either gave the girl the crown, sent her to live with his concubines, or threw her out of the palace, ruining her life as damaged goods. This was not a romantic night of winning the king's heart through consensual intercourse, but a last-ditch effort to survive by any means necessary. Esther, being the lucky winner of this sex competition, was placed in an impossible situation. Not only was the king volatile and highly unpredictable, he did exile Vashti for acting like a queen, and breaking social norms could end with her death, but she also had to confront her attacker, a key point that is often glossed over, because if she were queen, why did she need to be brave? She was a displaced woman in exile that was kidnapped, groomed, and forced into one night stand with the king by a man that proved he had no issue objectifying and oppressing women. Death was the furthest thing from her mind when she went before the king with her request. Okay, okay, totally got this. I don't like the guy, but that's okay. He likes you, and that's all you need. Okay, here we go. My queen, you have graced me with your presence and my heart is filled with joy. Please request anything of me and it will be yours. Dinner. My place. Six o'clock. Okay, didn't go as planned, but he's here. Had to bring the sleaze ball with him, but that's okay. Totally got this. Round two. Going in for the win. My queen, you have prepared a lovely banquet, and my heart cannot contain itself. Ask anything of me, and it shall be yours. Have you tried taters? Good taters. Come tomorrow for more taters. Okay, round three. Now or never. My queen, you spoil me to the ends of the earth and back. Anything you ask of me will be yours. What is it you desire? Don't let my people die. Esther isn't a cupcake romance of a girl who was afraid to ask the smitten king to save her people. She was a victim of human trafficking, grooming, and assault, but finds the strength and courage to confront her abuser. She was not weak for delaying her true request, but valiant in contending with the trauma while working toward her God-given purpose. And that is the woman that deserves a hero's praise.